anywhere in the country, the, the, the Great Plains in the southeast can have tornadoes, but there's two distinct areas of tornado frequency that are maximized. Traditional Tornado Alley, that's Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska. In, in most peer-reviewed research, we're referred to as Dixie Alley. That's Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee, Arkansas. And it's funny, I see a lot of professionals in those regions fighting about who has the most tornadoes and who has the greatest number of EF4s. I don't care. That, that's not important to me. Both of those zones have a lot of tornadoes. Where we are, it's the classic case of you've got air that is buoyant, air that wants to rise, especially in the spring where the dew points are high. And in the spring, the mid-latitude westerlies rock and roll out of the Rockies and they bring these waves in here that lift this air up. And here's the one thing that we have that I will, I, I am certain adds to our number of tornadoes. It's the foothills of the Appalachians. It adds a little upslope effect. And the more you can get the air parcels rising, the storms tend to be more dangerous, if you will, during severe weather outbreaks. They don't have that in North Texas, and they don't have that in Oklahoma, and we do. And I do believe we have more EF4s, EF5s per square mile than they do. Not that that's anything to brag on, but I think the foothills have something to do with that.